Hi, my name is Ethan Chu. I'm 15 years old, going to be a sophomore next year at Orange County School of the Arts in the Film and Television Conservatory. OSHA is a 7th to 12th grade charter school that allows students to learn and develop special skills in different types of art. I'm Asian American, half Chinese and half Vietnamese. Both my parents love Japanese culture. So in the summer of 2015, when I was 12 years old, my parents sent me to Japan by myself for a month to experience Japanese culture. I loved it. This amazing experience that I've had has shaped my personality and allowed me to realize all of the benefits of exploring another culture. After that, all I wanted to do was to go back to Japan. Finally, this summer, 2018, I came back to Japan to better understand the country's culture, language, and people. This time, I spent most of my days in Sendai. Sendai is a city in Japan's Tohoku region north of Tokyo. It takes about an hour and a half by bullet train to get from Tokyo to Sendai. For 25 days, I attended Meisei High School to experience the differences between Japanese American high schools. Meisei High School is a private school in Sendai, Japan. It is also ranked the number one high school for basketball in the entire country. Their former best player and graduate, Dui Hachimura, is doing excellent with his basketball career. I'm aware that public high school may be different from private high school, but I am so grateful to have had this opportunity to be at Meisei for a month. It is awesome to experience education from another country and to compare and contrast Japanese and American ways of life. My morning starts at 6.30 a.m. A major difference between my morning routine in America and Japan was a school uniform. Almost all schools in Japan require school uniforms. For my school, I wear a white button shirt and dark blue and black pants. At around 7.30, I leave the apartment building. Next is a 15 minute walk to the bus stop. The bus often arrives at around 8 a.m. and takes 15 minutes to get to the school. The entire commute takes about half an hour, but it's actually considered to be very close. Other students throughout Japan have to transfer through many different train lines to take buses, bikes, and walk long distances to arrive at school. Once we arrive at school, everyone takes off their shoes and heads to the place where you change to your inside shoes. Now, a major difference that I noticed between American and Japanese schools is the amount of shoes that you have to wear. In my school in California, we wear one pair of shoes throughout the day. But at Meisei High School, I need to have a pair of outside shoes, inside shoes, cooking shoes, outside PE shoes, and inside PE or gym shoes. My classroom is on the second floor. It is called Sanen Sankumi, the third class of third grade. The weekly schedule for Sanen Sankumi, or Grade 3, Class 3, is posted on the wall near the door for all the students to see. The students in Sanen Sankumi share all their classes together in the same classroom throughout the day. In Japan, teachers rotate and go to classrooms during certain class periods. The only lessons that do not take place in the classroom are ones like PE, music, or cooking classes. さん、3年3組の担任をしています。私は Students in the cooking course wear proper cooking clothes. They are trained to make all sorts of dishes from around the world. At the end of creating a meal, the students eat the food that they have prepared. It is fun to take cooking classes at Mesa. For me, it just meant a lot of really good food. At the beginning and end of class, a class leader that rotates daily announces the class to greet their teachers. Everyone stands up, bows, and says good morning or thank you in Japanese. This happens in every period, every day, when the teacher walks in and out of the classroom. Desks are placed uniformly throughout a classroom. Though some have whiteboards and dry erase markers, almost all classrooms use blackboard and chalk because they are apparently better for the eyes. English class. Students in Japanese school take English communication class because of the language's importance around the world. My name is Yuki Kashiba, English teacher at Meisei High School. Before I came to work here, I was a sushi cook for 13 years. 
Although I was a cook, I still had another dream, a dream to be a teacher. I felt the importance of learning languages such as English. I want to make our students good cooks, teaching English and sharing my experience with them. By the time they're finished in high school, almost all Japanese students can understand, read, and write a decent amount of English. They can introduce themselves with their name, age, and hobbies and say the words, I cannot speak English. After fourth period is lunch. Since Meisei High School is a private school, it does some things differently compared to other schools in Japan, including lunch. Though it depends from school to school, students are free to eat in the classroom, cafeteria, and other designated eating places. At Meisei High School's cafeteria, you insert money into a machine, select what you'd like to eat, and then receive a ticket in the dispenser at the bottom of the machine. Then, you take the ticket to the kitchen window where you pick up the food. Each meal costs around $3, but the quality is pretty good. The portion is quite generous compared to restaurant dining. During free periods that teachers don't have to teach, there are always teachers and staff eating in the cafeteria because of the excellent food and affordable prices. To return the dish, we empty the food waste, separate the chopsticks with a spoon, and place the bowls or plate in the window. After six periods, school is dismissed and students can go home. In most Japanese high schools, soju or cleaning time is a huge part of the Japanese high school experience. Students spend large amount of time cleaning the floors, classrooms, bathrooms, and hallways. In Sanden Sankumi, my class, all the desks and chairs are pushed to the back of the room, then the front of the room is swept and cleaned. Then all the desks and chairs are pushed to the front, and the back is cleaned. Also, everything gets erased off the blackboard, but the next day's date and class leader's name is written on the blackboard. But a huge part of Japanese high school life is clubs and after school activities. Clubs take place after school. Many are offered including tennis, volleyball, cooking, tea ceremony, brass band, calligraphy, etc. Since all students in a class have the exact same schedule, there are no electives for students to specialize and explore things that they as an individual are interested in. That's why clubs are so important. To get a better feel for Japanese high school life, I joined many clubs. Tea ceremony, calligraphy, Japanese drumming, and more. Japanese tea ceremony is a traditional and cultural activity. There are many rules to how you must prepare and present the tea properly. For calligraphy, you use a brush and ink to write Japanese characters. The hard part is making each stroke clean and beautiful. After clubs, students can go home. Since school requires so much dedication and time from them, students at Meisei have very little homework to do after school. I've gained a whole new perspective on Japanese high school life and American high school life too. I've learned to appreciate small things in the US that I took for granted. I've greatly improved in the Japanese language and can now communicate with others easily. And of course, I've met so many great people. I appreciate everything that they've taught me and done for me to make me feel comfortable away from home. My goal of sharing this wonderful experience is to encourage people to open up their minds and hearts, to embrace the uniqueness of other cultures, to try everything and appreciate the opportunities that come your way. Yeah.